Meet the green ant mimicking spider. Quite a cute little dude. Just hanging out, looking like one of these guys. Green ant mimicking spider? Green ant. Green ant mimicking spider? Green ant. Upside down green ant mimicking spider. Upside down green ant. But there's a sinister reason this incredibly zippy little spider is wearing green ant commando fatigues. Green ants are his prey. With eye spots on his abdomen to complete the disguise, he holds his four legs aloft, making them appear like ant antennae. The green ant mimicking spider uses aggressive mimicry, but green ants have quite the bite, so he must take care. He works up the courage. Not yet. Wait, is this the perfect moment? Oh, gross, you can actually see the spider sucking the brains out of his victim. Time to move on to something a bit less gruesome. How about the incredibly cute rock wallaby? These usually shy marsupials have adapted to life in the rocky outcrops or rugged cliffs of Australia and are quite the gymnasts. There are about 30 species of rock wallaby in this particular colony, known as the Mariba rock wallaby, is unique to an area local to Cairns. Rock wallabies are a protected native animal in Australia, with many colonies on the endangered species list. Scientists consider foxes an introduced animal to Australia, one of the major threats to many species of rock wallaby. Another animal introduced into Australia is the cane toad. They were brought into Australia in 1935 to control the cane beetle in the sugar cane fields. But cane beetles live high on the upper stalks of the cane plant, and cane toads can't jump that high. Duh! Cane toads have poison glands that can kill both wild and domestic animals if ingested. Even their tadpoles are highly toxic to animals. Only 102 cane toads were brought over from Hawaii, and now the local cane toad population is estimated around 200 million. No wonder they're now considered a pest. Speaking of pests, check out this crazy macro mosquito footage. This particular species is called a mosquito eater. It is one of many kinds of mosquitoes that don't consume blood. Their larvae prey on the larvae of other mosquitoes that do suck blood, like the Aedes aegypti, which can spread dengue fever. So they're basically helpful to humans and not a pest at all. Whilst it doesn't look like it, mosquitoes are actually excellent flyers, even in bad weather. The average raindrop is 50 times heavier than the average mosquito, and yet they buzz around in the rain with no problems. Another awesome flying machine is the frigate bird. These bad boys have the largest wing area to body weight ratio of any bird, with wings that can span up to 2.3 metres. Lucky for them that they do have such amazing wings as their feathers, unlike other seabirds, are not waterproof. Frigates are masters at staying aloft, and because they must avoid getting wet, they have taken to a life of crime, robbing other seabirds of their food. Frigate birds are kleptoparasites. Another parasitic creature is a flatworm that lives on freshwater spiny crayfish. These little creatures, which basically look like little hands with eyeballs, stay attached to the crayfish using large suction discs. In many cases, one species of flatworm is only found on one species of crayfish. Their partnership has endured for millions of years, with the little flatworm using its tentacles as fingers to catch prey from the water. Let's head underwater now. But instead of fresh water, let's head into the ocean to witness a majestic and fascinating animal, the carpet shark. These guys are masters of disguise, camouflaged by their unique dermal flags. They blend in perfectly into the surrounding rock formations. Some species cover is even improved by the small weed-like whiskers around their jaws, which look just like coral. These amazing animals hide amongst rocks and on large pieces of coral and use their tail as a lure to catch their prey. Carpet sharks are the ultimate ambush predator. More cool footage and animal sequences. Head to Biopixel Stock Footage Library.
Happy homeschooling, everyone.